All right, I'm going to do a little different uh, type of video today. Um, yeah, nothing at the farm. I'm at my house. You can see. Do, do, do. My home. Whatever. Couch. Oop. Yeah, she's focusing on something odd. What the heck? Now, this is my. Oh, I see why. My movie projector. But that's not what this video is about. This video is about banjos. Um, yeah. That's the first banjo that I bought. It's dirty as hell. Um, it's really nothing special. I paid $200 for it about 17, 18 years ago. It's just a beginner five string banjo. One of the higher quality ones has a resonator on the back of it. And it sounds good and I've played it, you know. I've learned to play on that banjo. Well, I've always wanted another banjo, but I could never afford the one that I wanted. It was, you know, just a very expensive banjo. A couple three thousand dollars, which, I don't know, I'm not that good of a banjo picker to, uh, to uh, you know, justify spending that kind of money. But, I saw this old bedpan that was in uh, over at the farm. It was my great grandmother's bedpan to be specific. Um, but it has a hole in the bottom of it and I looked at it and I thought, you know, that'd make a really cool banjo. So for years I've looked for a good bedpan. And they're not really easy to find. Um, the old porcelain ones, not some cheap stainless steel one or anything. I just don't think that they're what I want to use. I wanted an old fashioned uh, bedpan. So I don't know, last January my uncle died and then in June my Aunt Ella died and my uncle was cleaning out the house and I asked him if he ever came across a good bedpan to let me know. So sure enough, there it is. It is an older banjo, or yeah, older banjo, older bedpan. Uh, my neck perfection bed and douche pan unbelievable the most comfortable and sanitary bed pan in the world and it's a US patent number so anyway I've got this bed pan and I'm like okay Ooh, just about dropped it now I need a neck where am I gonna get a neck from well my father he likes to do eBay stuff you know usually buying he doesn't sell anything but he just buys it uh, and it came across a really cool neck. Five string with the uh, dowel pin style. Um, I thought it was made in China, but I was assured that this neck was made in Georgia by Georgians. So, uh, anyways, he bought it for me for Christmas. So now I've got the pan and I've got the neck. And believe it or not, that thing, just the curve of that thing is perfect for going on there. Now, what I need to do is come up with a, a head to go inside on top of here. And I need the tailpiece. So, I figured, you know what? I'm going to go to the music store and see if I can get a tailpiece. Because I'm going to make the head out of a piece of curly maple that I've got over at the farm. But I need that tailpiece. Now, I looked... I was watching on, online to a guy that I've watched for quite a long time, R. Peak, and he makes some of the craziest banjos and stuff out of gas cans, but never saw him make one out of a bedpan. Um, so anyway, I needed a tailpiece. This guy right here. Well, he uses kitchen forks, but any kitchen fork that you find, they only have four prongs. So I go to the music store and I say, hey, I need a tailpiece. And I'm like, well, they're pretty expensive, you know, for a good one. Um, why don't you just buy a new banjo and then tear it apart? It's like, okay. So that's what I did. I thought, well, all right. He says, you want me to tune it for you? I said, well, no, not really. Because I'm just going to tear it apart to make my bedpan banjo. So, I don't know, it's just a open back Epiphone banjo. It's got a uh, Weather King a head on it. Nice uh, arm guard there, which 
you know, you could take it off if you wanted to, you know, make it look a little older than what it is. But what really intrigued me is it had the geared pegs. All of them are geared. But it's made in China. Well, I thought, huh, how's this thing going to work? You know, I can take that tailpiece off of there and drill a hole and mount that thing. And, you know, then it would it would fit on there, but it wouldn't fit on there. It would have to rest on there because this one clips on that on that head ring. So, I don't know, I got it home and I, uh, you know, tuned it up nice and I played it. And I thought, wow, this thing sounds really good. I'd hate to tear it apart just for parts. So anyways, I'm going to play it for you a little bit. Hopefully. Without any troubles with my finger picks here. Oh yeah. That's what happens when you work hard. Get your mashed fingers. But, anyway, here it is. I thought it sounded really great. Um, it's got a different tone than my old one there. This one's a deeper tone. Which I think has to do because of the open back and it has heavy strings on it. Because beginners, they don't use light strings on them. like about it and that is that the strings are so far off the fretboard and I think it has to do with this extremely tall bridge that's on there I mean that thing is up there um, when I bought it the guy says well it's more or less for uh, claw hammer style picking than it is for the scrug style picking but which makes it a little difficult to play that way oh. so you can tell the difference between the sound of that one and the sound of this one. You hear the sharper tone. Just like everybody else. 
sounds good anyway. So anyhow, those are those are what I have, um, and this is what I'm gonna have. Now when this thing is done, I mean, if you take your head and stick it in there, you can see here that echo. Well, that's what's gonna make that thing sound like a real banjo. Now I've looked on YouTube, and I do not see anybody that's made a banjo quite like this. I've seen them make a guitar out of one, um, but they're newer bedpans in this one. They have a a spill spout back here and that'll screw up my tailpiece whereas you know uh, and then I saw another guy and he just flipped it over instead of being creative with uh, wood or something else he just used the back side of the pan for the for the head which I think would just sound tinny um, and this is pretty heavy banjo or bed pan so you know I'm kind of anxious to see what it's gonna turn out like and uh, I'm not going to be doing this right away because, you know, I don't have a lot of time. But when I get the time, I'll start fiddling with it and I'll keep you all posted.